Hi, welcome to Whole Latte of Love. I'm Mike Rosso. And I'm Zach Smith. And today we're going to take a look at the Labaza Espresso Point Machine. Um, this is a great machine if simplicity is your friend because these are pre-packed cartridges and they are ready to go. We're having a great time here today. So, uh, before we start, why don't you tell us a little bit about Labaza. Labaza was started by Luigi Labaza in 1895. He was roasting coffee. And then in uh, 1989 he decided he was going to work on equipment. So, thus the creation of this machine. Cool. All right, well let's take a look at what the machine is going to look like when you get it at your house and you take it out of the box. So first things first, take it out of the box, packaging. I mean, it's a heavy machine. Yeah. Weighs yeah. in at about 27 and a half pounds. Very sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, the dimensions on this are actually 14 and a half inches tall, 9 inches wide, and 12 inches deep. So Fitting this on your countertop should not be an issue. Um, Even with the cup, cup rack, it should be fine. Yeah. Um, externally, it is uh, chrome-plated stainless steel with gold accents. Makes for a nice finish. Really bright, polishes up good. Yep. Blue indicator lights, bright red power uh, stop button for disrupting any function you may need to stop. Interior, 12-ounce stainless steel boiler. And we work our way around the machine. You have the drip tray here. Plastic, slides right out, easy cleaning. Above it we have the stainless steel drip tray, great. Um, also you notice a nice light in there. Really works well for when you're brewing your shot. Let's be able to see everything what's going on. Here we have the steam wand pivots, gold accent knob. Up top is the door. Like I said earlier, this machine does use cartridges, so you will load them here. You will not push them in. This will actually shove the cartridge in. We'll get into more of that when we start actually brewing. Above, on your left-hand side, you're going to notice there is the steam option, water option, hot water option, and the continuous stream water option. On the right-hand side, you have the large cup, the medium cup, and the small cup. And Mike, can you run us through what we found? The yeah, the manual says it's a large, medium, small cup. Uh, we found it to be the large would be five ounces medium one would be two ounces and the small would be 1.5 ounces. Okay. Continuing our way up, you have the passive cup warmer. This allows your cups to get up to temperature so you're not losing a lot of heat when you brew. Also it has a nice gold accent rail. Uh, let me swing around here real quick. And you'll notice there's a key in here. This machine is designed so it can be in the workplace. So the key is so that no one can get into the machine, no one can tinker with it, just keeps it protected. Um, here you notice a cap. This goes down into the water reservoir. I can actually get the other machine and show you more in there. You notice there is a screen in there and that's going to catch all the sediment when you put and your you water in the there. Sediment that may be coming from your water, yep, that's yep. correct. So that's that. And on the back of the machine, this is a neat feature. Here's your power source. This is where the plug will plug in. But at the bottom, you'll notice there's a counter. And this is actually going to count how many cartridges you brew through your machine. So you can keep track. Um, when it's time to descale, you'll know how to do that. Um, and that's basically the features of the machine. Let's go back over to Mike, and he's going to show us how we can start brewing. Okay, we're going to brew a cup of espresso now. So we're going to take our car cartridges. They come in a foil package. It's got a little tear here, if you notice, for easy opening. It also sealed for freshness, and just tear it open like that. And this is what your cartridge looks like. Coffee's in there, a little filter on the top and the bottom. What happens is your water comes through the top and extracted through the bottom. And again, it's easy to just throw it away when you're done. It'll fall through into the drip tray in the bottom. We'll show you that in a second. So to brew, we're going to take your cartridge. And if you notice the way the door is lined up, you can only put this in one way. If you try to put it in the other way, it won't go in. So. If you think you're doing something wrong, that's probably what the problem is. Again, I'm not going to push that in. I'm going to close the door, and you're going to hear a little thud in a second here. And that's the other cartridge falling into the... So when you're done with all your coffee or toward the end of the day, you can take that easy disposal. Just throw them in the garbage. So we'll get our cup. Right now we're going to brew a one and a half ounce shot, and we're going to push the small. And it flashes as it's brewing, so you know you're brewing in case you forgot or oh, what did I push this way you know what you push and it's quick it's about 45 seconds so they really were striving for a quick cup of coffee it comes out about 196 degrees so it's a nice hot cup 
nice, nice crumb on top. And if for some reason you decided you made a mistake, you can always just press the stop button and that'll stop the function what you're doing in case you realize, oh, I put a, a five ounce and I got a two ounce cup under there or whatever. <laughs> should stop in a second here. There you go. And again, it's because it's the little cup sits a little farther back. You got the light there. You can see it as it's kind of exciting for little kids. You know, kids love to see lights and things functioning. So I guess we'll make a cappuccino now. Yep, since we got our shot, I'll put some milk into a cup and I will demonstrate <coughs> frothing milk using the steam wand. Alright, now you don't want to put it over here so when you purge it, you're going to get, get want to get all the water out of there because you don't want to water down your cappuccino. Um, so the light is flashing so it is working. And you're yes, going to water. Nothing's worse than a watery cappuccino. Nothing. You hear it start to pick up. Now, you can hear the back there. It's normal. That's the pump. It's pumping water in. This machine froths really easily. Um, as you can see, it's fast, too. Once you have your desired froth, just hit the stop button. You know, is there a paper towel back there? I can yeah, wipe down here. You don't want to wipe this down right afterwards so your milk doesn't stuck all over that and take your shot and just pour it right in. Okay, before we start cleaning, now that we're all done brewing, we're going to turn the power off and we're going to start at the bottom here, our drip tray, take this out, uh, get through away the cartridges. We can wash it out later because we're going to show you how to descale it so you would wait till you're all done descaling before you're going to want to wash that. But when you do wash it, use some soapy water, warm soapy water, rinse it good, uh, no dishwasher. So. We got, remember I told you earlier there was a cartridge in there from the last brew. So in order to take care of that, to remove that, um, you get the key that came with the machine. This is going to slide in again. It's designed like the cartridge. It's got a wider part at the top. And this can only go in one way. I'm going to push it in. And that's going to tell us that's cleared that up. And the reason you need to clear that up is we're going to use another tool that came with it, your machine. It's a brush for cleaning. You're going to basically slide this right in. See the little, little doors there look like uh, trap doors. I'm just going to push it in. Now when you go to remove it, uh, this would be dipped in warm soapy water to clean it. When you go to remove it, you're going to lift it up a little bit. Because if you don't, you're not going to get past the little trap doors. So pull it up a little bit and it comes right out. And a couple times just to clean out in there. Another brush, the other brush that came with it is this little small round brush. That can be used again for cleaning your steam wand. Um, you can actually remove this part. Run the brush through it. And up in here where the coffee came out, there's a little little tube here. And this will actually fit right up in there. Again, warm soapy water, get it all cleared up, and then maybe dip it in some water, clean water after just to get the soap residue out. Okay, so the only other thing left to clean out, the descaling will be next on the machine. And to descale, you're going to want to use a product like Clean Calf, we offer it on our site. And what you're going to want to do is take an entire package empty into another container with warm water. Make sure that it um, make sure that it Diluted. dissolves. Yeah, yeah, make sure everything dissolves. Otherwise you get chunks. And speaking of chunks, if you did get chunks, if you want to tilt that machine up, if let's say you didn't dissolve your you know, there's actually a large sediment screen inside top of the tank that would catch that too, but your your consistency in the right uh, measurements of water wouldn't be correct. So but make sure it's dissolved good and pour it in the tank. And then you're gonna want to run all the uh, clean cap solution through the machine and that will take off all the buildup that has occurred in your machine. And to run it through, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the power back on. You're going to take the other thing that came in your cleaning kit. It's a, actually a little cartridge, but there's nothing in it. It's just screens on the top, screens on the bottom. And basically what you're doing is you're tricking the machine into thinking that there's a cartridge in there because it won't run without a cartridge. You push the cartridge in. Again, we're not pushing with our hand. And we're going to push it in. There we go. We're ready. And a quick larger cup, we'll take this one for now. And we talked earlier about a continual flow button. That would be used in case you wanted to actually make a cafe Americana. You could actually yeah. push the button But um, after your pie was done. But you push the button, and that's going to draw out. And again, we're going to draw all that uh, clean cap out. Clean cap out. When that's done, you're going to put fill the tank with uh, clear water again. Draw all that water again, and then repeat again with another clear tank. And we'll just stop there for... 
again, you're going to continually run it all the way through. Now, to get your cartridge back out, because uh, it's in there, again, we're going to use our little, at this point, we can uh, take our drip tray out, empty it out, rinse it and dry it, and put it back in the machine. Now, if you want to get in to clean your water reservoir, the key's on top, you unlock the top, and this pulls right up. Turn the power off. I'll show you a little, a little bit inside here. Again, we got the large sediment screen on top. We've also got a weight. What that does, it keeps the tube from floating up. If it floated up, you get air in, you never get enough water. So that's, if you pull the machine out and that's not on there, then we need to get it replaced. There's also a small sediment screen here. You can actually use a little brush to clean it out. And what we also do recommend when you go to clean is periodically take the tank out. What you do is you can just dump your tank out. Clean it with soapy, soapy water. So where rinse it, good. And also in the bottom of the tank, you can take a little brush and clean out here. If you notice inside the tank, there's a float. And this is actually how you can, how the machine knows that um, it needs water. What happens when you fill the tank, the water, the float comes up like that, and it's good. And as you use it, it draws off. And on this side right here, there's a magnet. And the magnet senses when it's in this position, the machine hits a sensor, and it, that's when the light will come out on the front that you are empty. If you, watch for, if you watch for a second here, turn the machine back on for a second, and you'll see that the flashing needs water, light is on. So if you see that, you know that you need water. The top just snaps back on, and you're ready to start brewing again after you fill the reservoir. So once again, that about wraps up the Espresso Point by Labaza. Um, once again, convenience. Yes, key here. lots of things. You got powdered milk, you got beef consomme, you got teas, cocoa, you make hot chocolate, and endless possibilities. That's, that's correct. Oh. I'm Zach Smith. And I'm Mike Russell for Whole Latte Love Sales Department. Thank you for your time. And if you need to reach us, our number is 1 888 411 5282, option one. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.